this one is still loading I'll just look at this. Back. This was question number. This was question number eight. Okay. We have question number nine. We need to graph y equal to x cube and y equal to sixteen over x on the same set of coordinate axes. Use the graphs to find the exact solution to the equation x cube equal to 16 over x verify the substitution verify by substitution that they satisfy the equation we have y equal to x cube and we have y equal to 16 over x so we need to draw these graphs first you take the coordinate axis here. So copy this and paste it. So this is going to be for y equal to x cube and this is going to be for y equal to 16 over x. The red pen. I will just find few coordinates first zero, one, two, three, four, six, three, one, two, three, four, six, three, four, six. Seven one two three four six seven. I'll be needing eight and nine also here. Eight. So let's just find few values for this y equal to x cube. So for y equal to x cube, I have, uh, I'll just put x as 1, as 0. So this will for x as, I'll put negative 3, then this will be negative 9. Two negative. Okay, 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 okay. This is cube, not square. I got confused. So for negative two, I have negative eight. A one negative one zero zero one one two eight, and for y equal to 16 over x i have a for x x cannot be zero here so we can clearly see that when x is zero my y is going to be infinity so this y equal to 16 over x is going to be discontinued as at x equal to zero let's just see 
we have like the discontinuity here okay so this is the curve of a i think this is hyperbola so i will just put the value as uh, let's say for negative one we have negative one what are the intercepts they have taken let's just put for negative five then they have chosen y as 16 so x as one y will be 16 x as 2 y will be 8 then x as four y will be four then let's say x as eight then we'll have y as two then x as sixteen y as I'll just draw one more here for negative terms so for negative one we have negative sixteen negative 2 negative 8 4 minus 4 minus 8 minus 2 16 so first we'll go for y equal to x cube so for minus 2 we have it so this is minus 2 we have 1 4 5 This is going to be one point. Then minus one, we have one. So this is going to be another one. Then for one, one or two, and uh, it comes somewhere there. Now I just cross check. So it is going to be like this. This. Then here like this. So this. Oh God, this one is very difficult. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, minus. We have minus one, minus two, three, four, So suppose if we have a graph paper then these curves are going to be look much more better and accurate. Minus two minus eight so two and we have eight eight seven for two we have this eight then for a corner two we have 1 by 6, 2 for 8, okay. 4, 4, 8, 2. So 4, 4, 8, 2. Then again, we have 2, it is 7, 8. Then we have, uh, we have, we have, we have four, 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 and four, and two, and eight. Will go like this, and it will go like this. 
okay so now for finding the solution or the intersection coordinates what we do is that we have one equation which is 16 over x we have another equation at cube we'll just substitute the value of y in this equation so we'll have x cube as 16 over x this implies x power 4 is equal to 16 this implies we have x as x square will be plus minus 8 then x square is plus 8 x will be 8 then x square is negative 8 x will be imaginary so for negative 8 uh, uh, it is not going to uh, exist these are going to be imaginary values so for x equal to plus minus 8 i'll just put these uh, the value of x equal to plus minus a plus minus 8 into this equation so for x equal to plus 8 we have y equal to 2 for x equal to negative 8 we have y equal to negative 2 so two sets of intersection are 2 comma 8 sorry 8 comma 2 this will be a 2 this will be negative 2. So 2 comma 8 and then negative 2 comma negative 8. Okay. So well we cannot do this thing here, but finding the solution graphically means first we need to have proper grid system and proper graphs which we don't have, which I don't have here, then we are going to superimpose or we are going to draw both these graphs on the same coordinate system or the same axis. Then finally, we'll get the value of uh, intersection points from graphical method. But when, if we don't have the proper graphs, then we can just use this mathematical formulas to calculate. So, Solution given here is correct. Given correct work.